Some call it internet dating for a price. Attractive college women posting profiles online searching for a sugar daddy to pay off their debt. And apparently no one holds back. Everyone is clear on their expectation. It is in your face and you tell each other exactly what you want. Now I'm gonna ask the question, how is this not like prostitution? So let's bring in our guest to address this. Brandon Wade, CEO of our SeekingArrangement.com, as well as one of these, let's call them sugar babies, Nicole, of course, not her real name, seeing her there in silhouette, and Amanda Fairbanks. She is the Huffington Post reporter who wrote about this school for scandal, and Stacey Honowitz is with us as well, Florida prosecutor. Amanda, I want to start with you. You apparently spent quite a bit of time with these girls. I've spoken to you a bit, and you've told me this is not something you would ever contemplate doing. Surprise. Did you appeal to them sort of woman to woman and ask, you know, once you built a rapport with them, and, and what did they say about their choice to do this? You know, I guess we did develop a rapport. I spent about a month uh, with a, about a dozen women here in New York City sort of talking to them, talking about their motivations and what led them to this work. I mean, it really seems to me to be the face of, of true desperation. You know, they're graduating from college with a lot of debt in this terrible economy, and, you know, the, their kind of regular paying job isn't enough to pay these bills and pay off this debt. Well, Amanda, you said something really interesting. You said this kind of work, that, as though this is work. So I'm going to ask you the same question I asked at the opening. How is this not sex for money? Well, it absolutely is sex for money. I mean, these websites get to exist in this kind of legal, legal, murky gray area, whereby sex isn't specifically exchanged for money on these websites. But of course, you know, a little reporting and a little bit of digging reveals that sex absolutely is exchanged for money. The one caveat, though, is that it often accompanies, you know, companionship and time spent together and going to the theater and having dinner. And then it gets far trickier in terms of prosecuting. That's interesting. Now we have one of these, uh, as I said, these we're calling them sugar babies. It's uh, Nicole. Nicole, how did you get started? How did you find out about this? What were you hoping to accomplish? Well, a girlfriend told me about the site. She had used it to help pay for books when she was in school. And she knew that I had bills to pay and I actually prefer to date older men. So she thought this would be an excellent way for me to kill two birds with one stone. Um, uh, but I, again, I, I can't, I can't, Nicole, hold on a second, I'm interrupt. I can't sort of take this at face value. You must have considered other ways to pay your debts, or you might have just gone out and dated older men. I understand this. Help me, help me get my head around it. I mean, let's put it this way. If you were my daughter, I would not be happy. You're obviously having to shroud your identity. Help me understand what you're up to. <laughs> Sure. Well, there's a particular reason why I shroud my identity. I understand that it's a, a controversial topic, so I don't need any, um, I don't need any negative attention in my home neighborhood. You know, I don't, uh, I'm, I'm young, so I'd like to have my life ahead of me and not have to think about, you know, how other people's opinions will affect me. But why I chose this particular venue, obviously I can pay my bills other ways, and I do. I have a real job, I'm a real person with a real life, and I do pay my debts with my own money, but it would just take a lot longer. And I can pay all my bills by myself, I'm entirely self-sufficient, but uh, it doesn't Nicole. leave a lot of cushion for fun. Yeah. All right, I understand. Did you, did you think about stripping, which is the old, when I, back in the day, I mean, I've heard this story a million times, where women go, oh, I'm just doing this because I gotta pay for college. Stripping used to be the old fashioned way of doing it. Did you ever think about that? No, I don't see myself as an adult worker. I don't see myself okay. as a, a right. sex worker. Okay, all right, fair enough. F in any fair way. enough. That's my question. All right, Brandon is the president of this company. You 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 developed this entire site. Yes. So what what were you thinking? What were you up to? Do you expect it to go this direction? Tell me about it. Well, I certainly don't expect it to go in the direction of where the media is taking it. Seekingarrangement.com is a website about forming honest, brutally honest relationships. I started the website because I was having trouble dating women on Match.com. I would write, spend hours writing hundreds of emails waiting to get response. I would get very few. And then to turn those into first dates was really, really tough. Then one of those things that my mom told me when I was growing up, I, I didn't really actually have a girlfriend until I turned 19 at MIT. And she said, well, study hard, focus on getting A's in school. And when you finally are successful and have money, the girls will be waiting in line. That's really what Seeking Arrangement is all about. It's for me to date beautiful girls. <laughs> 
for you, Brandon, to date beautiful girls? That's and guys so like nice. myself who have six-figure incomes, you know, it's important to note that unlike sugar daddies, the term that people are used to, the sugar daddies on SeekingArrangement.com average about 35 years old. These are younger guys who are successful who's willing to help. We're not talking about an exchange of money for sex here. That would be prostitution. We're talking about money in exchange within a relationship. I, now that's okay. Dating a wealthy guy is not wrong. No, I, I understand what you're saying, but but should you maybe vet these women more so their motivation is screened out? It seems like they see it as just a way to pay their bills, and if that's their motivation, maybe these guys are getting sucked into a relationship. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, by the way. But sucked into a relationship that is improper. We cannot vet people for being honest. That, that's the you can't go to Match.com and find a profile where somebody is saying, "I'm in debt. I need help." I want the following things, you know, I, I'm in trouble or I'm looking for a man who's going to treat me with respect. All right, all right. Let me go to Stacey Honowitz. Stacey, you're still out there. I know you deal with a population that uh, has been victimized. Um, yeah. You know, my concern here is that it attracts that population. Uh, it's exploitative and in, in certain in its feel. How, 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 do we, how do we understand what's going on here? Well, I think you, t you touched on it before when you said, you know, in my day, the oldest trick in the book was to be stripping. You know, we see these girls that say that they're desperate and they're destitute, and this is the only means of getting what they want. I think it's a sad note on the other end that a, a person thinks that the only way he's going to get somebody to like them is to shower them in gifts. And we always see these cases where you see gorgeous, beautiful women, and a, one girl might say to the other, boy, look at the guy she's with. You know why she's with him. It's because he's paying for everything. So this goes back a long way just now what we have is we have it concentrated on a website is it a form of prostitution like you said if ever there's an exchange for money in exchange for sex under the law technically it is prostitution and I don't know if the CEO knows what goes on in every situation he can't possibly know that anybody that's attached to that website is just going on dates and not getting money and not having sex but you're never going to be able to monitor these things. It does become exploitive. I think that it's glamorized out there that escort services, we see these girls uh, that, are, that are in escort services that are with high-powered individuals, they then become famous afterwards when they come out. And they talk about prostitution and sex. So I think it's a mixture of things. I think it's, it's hard for people to imagine that it goes on, and it does. It's exploitive, it is, but it's going to continue. And prosecutors and, and offices like mine don't delve into this because there's too many of them. All right. Well, let, let me just say, uh, again, the, the reason for doing stories like this is to bring us, those of us that are parents, to begin thinking about these things. These are other things we need to be aware about, other aspects of the Internet that are somewhat dangerous, perhaps, if, you know, I, I certainly think so. I would, again, not be happy if my daughter were doing this. But mostly what it would say about her access to real intimacy and relationships would be deeply disturbing to me if this is how she thought of a relationship with a man. We're going to talk more about this. Next, how far will some girls go to pay for college? Is this just another version, as Stacy said, of prostitution? We'll continue the discussion after the break. All right, now check this out. How many universities are attended by these so-called sugar babies who are seeking arrangement.com setups? Well, New York University, NYU, tops the list with 498 sugar babies. There you see a list of some of the other schools that has... Quite a few there. These are pricey places. I understand that. But as a father, it makes me very, very, very concerned. Young women seeking men in an exploitative arrangement to pay off their debt. At least that's what some of these women think they're doing. I don't know if the CEO, Brandon, says no, that it's not what the men are intending. Dating at a high price, high stakes involved here. Young lives, their self-respect perhaps may lie in the balance. I am disturbed hearing about this. Yes, yes, indeed I am. Back with us, Brandon Wade. He's the CEO of SeekingArrangement.com and one of the sugar babies, Nicole, and we'll call her Nicole. Uh, also, Amanda Fairbanks from the Huffington Post uh, and Stacey Honowitz, Florida, Florida prosecutor. Amanda, I'm going back to you. This is, you know, I understand this is kind of a nuanced story. story. Are, are we getting our head around this properly? You know, I think we are. I also think that, you know, some of these young women are really seeing these men as, you know, potential mentors or people to have sort of an ongoing relationship with. I mean, some of the women have sex with these guys just one night, and some of the women that I interviewed have sort of ongoing relationships that in some ways resemble, you know, your kind of standard issue romantic relationship. They have dinner, they go see a show. 
Um, you know, the other thing to note is that about 40% of the men on the site are married men. So these are married Oof. men, exchange, you know, engaging in these relationships with these young women. Are they, are they honest about being married? A lot of them are. I mean, a lot of them ask wow. the women to be very discreet about it and to, right. All right. So, you know, listen, I understand that, that males with resources, Brandon, are attractive to women. That, that's a historical evolutionary phenomenon. But it, it, the, the where this is going is sort of disturbing. And what the women think this is pro is problematic, it well, seems like. We seem to be focusing on the few examples here of exploitation. But what about the successful relationships that do form? Well, and, and right, so that's, I'm going to ask that, you know, how is it different than somebody looking at somebody across a bar and saying, ooh, I'm attracted to that guy? I, I understand that's your point. But, but I want to go to Nicole, uh, who is our sugar baby. And Nicole, you don't see it that way. You really thought this was a way to pay debt. It was a financial arrangement. And that's what is disturbing us. Right? But this is where I disagree with you. I think that finances, uh, financial support is a benefit. It's not the goal for me. Well, well let me ask you I this. Do you have, do did you develop a, men. hold a second, Nicole, I got to interrupt. Did, did you develop a close, intimate connection with another human being? Was that the outcome? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so, so the, the financial issue was a side phenomenon that sort of got you into this site, it motivated you there, but you were able to have real relationships, close relationships? Of Suc course, successful. absolutely. I think that, that that is what separates this from prostitution. That's, I make a distinction are, there and I- Are you I, with yes, one of these I guys now? Yes, yes. Are you with, okay, all right. Well, listen, my fear, honey, is, is that you did enter an exploitative kind of an exchange. If you did not, God bless you. I hope you find happiness with this and with whoever the guy is you're with. Thank you, Brandon. Stacy, thanks for sticking around. Amanda, I will keep uh, an eye on this story with you. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.